Hey guys, it's Groove here. Today on Tape Talk, I want to talk to you about Dawn of the Dead. So Dawn of the Dead, as you all probably know already, is by George A. Romero and came out in 1978. This was the very first horror movie that I've ever watched. I remember watching it with my mom, my dad, and my sister. We made dinner, plunked down in front of the TV, we rented it, we watched it. And I was just blown away. I love this movie. I know a lot of people think that the zombies are blue and it's cheesy and that the blood doesn't look that good. But you know what? The movie is 42 years old. You look at video games from 42 years ago and you're talking like Pong and stuff like that. It's laughable, right? So compared to what, what they are now. But I love this movie. You know, it's like saying like somebody's chirping your best friend. And they say, oh, yeah, well, there's this wrong with that guy and this wrong with that guy. You don't care because it's your best friend. This is my favorite movie. So if other people don't like it, I don't really care. So anyways, my general thoughts on the movie is that I would have done it differently than they did. Not the movie, but the characters in there. Like, they go to a mall. And I love malls. I went to high school was right beside a mall. So I've been to plenty of malls and spent plenty of times in malls. And I would have done a few things differently. Like, first of all, when they're driving the trucks around, there's a grocery store that you can see it. It's called AMP. It's in the background. We used to have those in my hometown. And what I don't understand is that uh, why didn't they kill more of the zombies and put them in the freezers in the grocery store? And if it's a mall, there's going to be tons of restaurants, so there's going to be even more freezers. So there's tons of space to get rid of these zombies. So there's no excuse to not get rid of the zombies, in my opinion. So anyways, that's that part of it. And they do alterations to the actual mall where they hide in the mall. So then why wouldn't they build some sort of barricade around the helicopter that they have? Because the helicopters are hella useful in these apocalyptic situations. So that's my thought on that. I, I was a little confused as to why they didn't do that and maybe barricade up the walls more so it'd be harder. Because they get attacked, obviously, at one point in the movie by um, other people's other people. So it makes me wonder, like, why didn't they, you know, besides just moving the trucks and blocking the entrances, why didn't they do it better that way? Uh, that, that was what kind of confused me, because I definitely would have stayed there more. And if there's a grocery store, my grocery store here sells propane tanks, and they clearly have guns. As you can see in this picture, there's guns. Uh, why wouldn't they set up bombs to kill the zombies with propane tanks and guns and stuff like that? You wouldn't even need guns to blow up propane tanks. So I, I just felt like they could have protected the mall better than they did. That was one thing, and I know they remade this movie in 2004, and I, I loved it. It was as good. I went and saw it in theaters when I was 18. However, I wish they would remake it again, but in 1978 time, and have it done by somebody like uh, Jordan Peele or Quentin Tarantino. I feel like one of those two guys could have just nailed this movie. Like, if oh, could you imagine if they redid it and redid it in the same mall in Pennsylvania, Monroeville Mall? That would just be awesome if they did that. Anyways, that's my opinion on this movie. I love it. Um, I suggest you watch it. It's just nothing better than it. Um, Day of the Dead's pretty good, but uh, I have to say that Dawn. Of, for me, I would rank it Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, then Night of the Living Dead. Well, that's it for the groove, man. I will chat to you later. Who got this by the ass?